Hi guys, so today I thought I'd do a little self-portrait in my garden. So I've got my chair set up in the garden. Um, I'll be honest, I had some pretty crappy news today, so I thought I'd channel it and do some indulgent self-portraits. So that's what I'm doing. That's my gym equipment I covered up there because I have it outside. So yeah, let's go on with it. For those who ask, I'm not going to be using the native Nikon app. I find it too kind of tired my phone, so I'm just going to be using one of these. Remote. No other light, it's literally failing lights. I haven't got long. Let's go on with this. So we're starting on the 85mm, I'm going to go into my lens baby lenses as well and maybe the 24 70 to get some images and just enjoy it. I was going to use a single light but um, loads of you commented that you don't have a light at home so you wanted me to do stuff in natural light so it's just me now so I'm going to get it set up I guess. Hi guys, it's Candy here. So I did a little self-portrait session. I'm gonna be really honest, had some bad news, just want to channel it into my art and do self-portraiture. Now I often do self-portraiture where I play a character, but this was very much me. So it's just me in my muddy garden, barefoot for a reason, because I had some nice swanky heels, but I didn't want to get them covered in mud in the end. So I got my feet covered in mud. Now, just a quick tip. If you are gonna do it, outside and you just happen to have little doggies like I do make sure you do the obligatory patrol to make sure there isn't any little presence in the grass because I very nearly put my bare foot in one so <laughs> remember that Um, the self portrait, the light was failing. I used a variety of my lenses. Um, I am a lens baby ambassador. There is a link at the bottom if you uh, want to get 10% off your order with them. I was going to do a whole thing about self-portraits, but the thing is, I want to talk to you about how you can use your emotions and the way your feelings channel into your art. So today I had what I would say was some personal bad news, not like massively traumatic, but it really upset me. Uh, it got me angry a little bit. And given the situation that we're in, normally I would like go to the gym or I would go for a long walk, but we you know we're quite restricted at the moment. So I decided to challenge my art and create something that was very me um, at that in that moment. Not necessarily my style I always do, but it was very much how I felt. And I think you can so use photography to channel your art. If you're feeling angry, why not photograph the anger as you rip up a book or um, rubbing your feet in the mud, which is kind of what I was doing today. I was barefoot in the mud and in my garden very muddy uh, and just channeling it that way and the idea is is that you start it's almost like a form of therapy and I, I you know self portraits have been used by artists all over the world long before me and long after me it's a way to um, to get their expression out but also you know as a subject matter but in order to progress in a photography sense you do have to use yourself as a model and you do have to channel yourself and you do have to sometimes be raw to get some sort of meaning from your photography maybe i'm waffling here but it in terms of self-portraiture i often come across as a character or I, I you know i'm gonna be this vampy character i'm gonna be this so what i did was i put on the outfit that i normally wear for weddings um, when i'm photographing weddings and decided just to photograph myself frustrated or uh discontented or uh, also disassociated with what was going on around me because um, I feel at the minute a little bit suffocated by the news I've received um, it will alleviate I'm not like it will it will go and diminish but I just want to use that and I just think you when you do your portraits really 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 open up you don't have to explain everything about it maybe something that's a trauma that you're not ready to talk about publicly but maybe that trauma could be trundled into some art form I personally have had some significant personal trauma and I have at times used the pain or the anger or the 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 feelings to get a shot a shot that I want or a, a feel that I want and I am going to be doing this a lot more so if you are into self-portraits this is a good way I think for me personally it works for me to channel it so don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell button and I'll see you all soon and thank you so much for the support and you guys have been amazing don't forget to share these videos I would love to get more subscribers because let's be honest and boost my ego bye